Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back, everyone. Let's talk about some fragrances that are under the radar. Fragrances that doesn't have that commercial appeal, but they do what they need to do when it's time to do what it's supposed to do. So this edition is fragrances that are under the radar, that are stinky as hell, but sexy beyond belief. Before we get into this edition of Stinky Sexy, I need you to hit that like button, that subscribe button, that bell in the middle, so that when new content is released, you'll be the first ones to get it. Now, let's get into the fragrances that are under the radar, that lack that mass appeal, but when you walk into a room, you're the real deal. So let me ask all of you a question. Have you ever smelled something that was filthy, muddy, dirty, but at the same time, sensual. Well, if you have, I want to introduce you to a fragrance and a house that will blow your mind. It's the house of Nishane. Take a look at this. Let's see if we can get this right here. African Officiant. And this is... Mm. Look at that spray. This is one of the most potent fragrances that I've ever come across. This is animalistic, this is pungent, this is stinky, this is dirty. It is a fragrance that once it settles off the skin and into the atmosphere and into the nostrils of folks, it cannot be denied. If you want to own a room, keep a room, be the center of attention, and do it in a way that's unlike anything else. Now, I know that that's an overused expression, but when I tell you this African officiant right here, it's unbelievable. This is unbelievable. This fragrance right here will have them lined up waiting for your autograph, waiting for your number, telling you, I don't wanna know no one else because this stuff is that bad. And all you have to do from that point on is have the perfect conversation and this thing right here will stay in heavy rotation. I'm telling you, it's dynamite, it's nuclear, it's unpleasant, extremely sexy once it starts to get in gear and tap into the ingredients that makes this thing fantastic. So one might ask, what are those ingredients? What are the ingredients that make this stinky, sexy, pungent fragrance such a beast? And I'm gonna tell you right now, we're talking frankincense, castoreum, oud, leather, myrrh, all of these things put together give you a nuclear weapon to go into any space and say, I have arrived. Do you see me? Do you hear me? Do you recognize? That's what this fragrance is. Now I'm gonna lie to you. This is not a fragrance that you will get it right off the top. But when you get it, you get it, you got it, it is so sensual. This is a fragrance that will arouse you and anyone in your space. If that's something that you need, if that's something that you're curious about, please go out, purchase this fragrance, excuse me, go out, test it, and find out for yourself what the agent already knows. This is beyond nuclear. This is someplace else. This is not that. This is everything. This is the fragrance you've been waiting for, but it's under the radar. It's pungent, stinky, glorious, but you're gonna love it, and it's the kind of fragrance <laughs> It's the fragrance that you've been waiting for your whole entire life. I 
guarantee you, you will say that this thing is everything and then so. So the second fragrance that we're gonna talk about it can be described as a beast, but it's definitely under the radar. So let me dispel one thing. Fragrances cannot on initial spray all of the time be sensual, be beautiful, hit you right in the face and say, damn, that thing smells unbelievable. That's not the way it works. There's so many different things that goes into making a fragrance that actually works for you. But if you don't want to be the average Joe, then this is what I suggest you do. I suggest you travel over to the house of bond number nine and get yourself a bottle of black sapphire. Now this is simply oud and rose. And if this thing right here don't do it for you, nothing well. Now, let me just say this. This is the definition of pungent. It's the definition of filthy. It's the definition of grimy. But it's also something that is so beautiful. When I tell you that this hair is appealing, it's enticing, it's inviting, it is a fragrance that puts you in a category of divine, <laughs> divine sexiness. I'm not lying. If this fragrance doesn't move you and move others, then you need to have your hair checked and they need to have their nostrils reconstructed because this thing is awesome. But again, it's under the radar. It's, it's foul, it's impure, it is nasty, but it's good, it's awesome. It's the fragrance that says, take me home. It's the fragrance that screams, take me home. Now, am I guaranteeing companionship? No, I'm not. But can I guarantee a conversation? Absolutely. Look at this bottle right here. Look at this. Black Sapphire. This is so outstanding. This is a home run every time you're up to bat. Do you hear me? This is Steph Curry hitting that three when needed. This is that fragrance. Everything else is something else. But this is that. This is unbelievable. So once again, I want you to start embracing smelly, foul, stinky, unpleasant, different, unusual. Because within that, there's a simplicity to it and uniqueness to it that will have you stand out in any crowd and just be Mr. or Mrs. Gorgeous. This is the fragrance to do it. Once again, this is the House of Bond, and this is Black Sapphire, and this is an Ooh Rose Dynamite Kicker Nuclear Fragrance that you should wear because this doesn't put you in that commercial market, it just puts you in that you market. So that's it for this edition of Stinky Sexy. Fragrances that have a pungent smell to it, but if you get past pungent, if you get past smelly, if you get past foul, if you get past stinky, and you wait and you have patience, you come into a world of your own. You come into a world where you have discovered the essence of true beauty. This is for an open mind. If your mind is open, your nose is open, your pockets are just right, this is the fragrance to get to guide you through any situation. 
My name is The Sniff Agent, and it's been a pleasure introducing you to fragrances that's going to take you on a journey and make you that person when you walk into that room. And once again, as I always say, you're one spray away from being the most sexiest person ever. Until the next spray, continue to play.